Hello, Paul is the best for UK here and welcome to today's Game of Day. Every day June 2019, a different Mega Drive game, 6pm on my channel. So this is Double Dragon 2, The Revenge. So this is 1989 Technos, Japan Corporation and 1991 Powersoft. So let's start the game. So as usual, like on a lot of Mega Drive games, you get a start and options bit. So we'll have easy. Choose how many lives. This is based on the coin-up machine of the same name. And yep, so basically, the woman gets shot with the gun. Ouch! That wasn't very nice. And then I come out the garage, here I come. Or the hangar, it looks more like a hangar than a garage. So as you can see, this is Double Dragon. And uh, yep, this is a uh, beat em up on the uh, Mega Drive right now. Have some of that. Are oh, you Booner? So we got me right now. So I'm the one with the yellow hair. Have some of that. Have some of that. Oh, you fuck. Well, I'll, I need to try and get him. Oh, no. Okay. Let's run away. Oh, what am I doing? Have some of that. So all your people to do me right now. Oh, you got me. Oh, kicked him right now. Have some of that. So the hand indicates that we've got to continue on. Watch out for these guys right here. Oh, he's got a knife. Oh shit, and he's got a whip. I want that whip. So we keep going. I'm gonna try and get him. Graphics are high in detail, there's nicely drawn, you can tell at the barrels and you can tell that's a ladder and that's a building and hangar or whatever and garage and stuff. The main characters are drawn quite well. So yeah, it's, it's a very uh, early coin-up machine conversion of a pretty good, decent coin-up machine. I've never played the coin-up machine version. I've played the coin-up machine version of Double Dragon 1. Well, I presume, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I presume Double Dragon 2 is also a coin-up machine. Oh, you fuck! I keep, I keep getting surrounded. I'll pick up that. How do you pick them up? Oh, come on! So yeah, uh, this is basically what Double Dragon 2 is. Now, it's it's good, but I'm finding the uh, how, he, how hard it is to uh, get a hit and a bit frustrating on the game. Because you seem to be always surrounded all the time and I can't seem to get a hit in. So yeah, uh, the difficulty curve is a little bit more a little bit too difficult. So on that note I'm going to give Double Dragon 1 a 7 out of 10. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.